So this is me recording, this is the tutorial of this nail set. <clears throat> um, what you'll need for this, to do this, you'll need nail formers. I made these out of flower foam that I got from Dollar Tree, popsicle sticks, and I hot glued nails on top of them. You need fingernail polish, you need like a clear coat to add your jewels, you need a top coat. I have like a sponge paintbrush. I have three different sets of jewel things that I put on there. Um, you'll need a toothpick or like a wooden cuticle pusher, um, a makeup sponge, nails, obviously, um, some poster tacky. I uh, I used, um, I tried to use a paintbrush, but that kind of was an epic fail. But if you have a paintbrush or like a nail, <laughs> um, like a what am I trying to say like a um, nail art brush that would be ideal and so here I am putting the poster tacky on the nails that I hot glued to the popsicle sticks I'm using gloves which you know epic fail um, I eventually take this glove off of my hand because I am Fumbling the poster tacky. Um, no, you just put it on top and then you put, um, because it's tacky, because it's poster tacky, you just put the nail on top of it and then design it. I didn't really get footage of that, but you know, you can just put the nail on top. It'll stick. Um, for this particular set, most of the nails have a brown base, um, like a, like a, darker tan nude color um because i wanted it to blend in with my skin and so like depending on what your skin tone is just find a nude that works for you if you're into doing this design um i did two coats but it really honestly depends on the type of like the quality of the fingernail polish and um you know just make sure it's opaque um and so for the first design, I am putting like a diagonal, um, a little mark on the top of this nail, and I am applying it with a makeup sponge. And I'm really just doing this um, so I can have a guide. I tried to freehand it and it was uh, kind of tragic. So, I, um, so I'm using this makeup sponge to give me a guide because I'm going to go back with the regular nail polish brush and you know make it opaque with the pink top color or whatever and so this is me doing that now um I can't even see that so what are we doing um anytime now Michelle um and so yeah I'm just painting on top. I'd put a couple coats on there, um, <clears throat> but I honestly feel like one coat was fine, but you know, better safe than sorry. So when the, when that dried, I put another coat on there and that's what it looks like with the second coat. Um, and so I'm taking a safety pin. A safety pin was not in the list of things I said that you needed because I thought that I could have done this with my nail art brush, but you know, Nah. Um, and so I just dipped that in some glitter. Um, and uh, I really just was trying to soften like the harshness of the line. Um, and so I did that. I put a couple coats on that as I mean, I came back and did it a second time just to make it stronger. You'll see at the end. Um, and so this next one I'm doing I'm using the makeup sponge again, and so I am just putting um, two lines down the um, side of the nail. Um, and I'm also just doing this again to have a guide because I'm gonna go back with the fingernail polish brush and just make it you know, darker, a bit more opaque. Um, but it's just really helpful for the precision that I wanted. Um, I really, this particular nail, the first one I did, I did freehand, pretty much hated it. It's actually in the picture of the, the 
the the picture that I took of my nails is the one I didn't like, um, but I liked this one much better. And this is the one I recorded, so. Um, anyway, so I'm taking that off camera and I am uh, I'm using the nail polish brush to darken it and make it more opaque and use the guide that I made with the makeup brush um, little sponge on thing I did and that's what it looks like I did two coats I believe and now I'm going in with glitter again to soften the interior of the line or whatever I'm using again um, a safety pin but if you have a nail art brush or you know you're just better that if you have something that would work better I honestly think you could use like a toothpick um, but you know I was using what I had and I kind of like it I don't I feel like it came out well I'm doing it on the other side I'm kind of just like dropping it on the inside and kind of dragging it and like dotting it and dragging it um, just to get it as precise as I possibly can um, and I, I went back and did a second line and now I'm about to add my jewels so I am using a clear coat this came with the little I bought a little packet of jewels um, I think the brand was LA colors it was a dollar um, but it the, this like clear um, gel came with it and I'm using the little butterfly jewel because it's like close to the color of the pink that's on the top of the nail and I am just like dropping it on top of the nail and I'm using my toothpick cuticle pusher thing to uh, move it around and um, place it where I want it to be. Um, and you can use that with like any, you could, if you don't have like a toothpick or a cuticle pusher, just like, you know, find something that will move it. And so these are like little raindrop light color, a lighter color pink. I wanted to add more jewels because I felt like the butterfly was a little juvenile and I'm 33. Um, <clears throat> but I really like the butterfly because it was the same... It was very close to the color of the top of the nail. So I'm, again, using the cuticle pusher thing to, um, you know, move the jewel around where I want it to be. I really want it to be in the center of the butterfly wings. And so I'm just, like, moving it to make sure it's where I want it to be. Um, and I'm going to add two round... Um, rhinestones to the outside um, parts of the butterfly wing um, just to you know have more jewels and make it look more less childish um, but you know if that's your vibe I actually I don't even know why I'm sitting here trying to front I like childish things sometimes I read YA novels so I don't even know why my hair trying to act like I wouldn't live for butterflies on my nails. I just didn't, you know, I just didn't feel like <laughs> I wanted that energy in my life that week. But you know what? Maybe, maybe one day I'm going to come back with some butterfly nails. You don't know. You don't know. Anyway, I put them on both sides of the nail, the round, like the clear round um, rhinestones. And I'm using the cuticle pusher again to... You know, push it in place. Um, and I'm going to put two pearls on the outside of the um, clear rhinestones. These are like little light pink pearls. They actually looked kind of clear after I put a top coat on them. But I'm using a crayon um, because it's waxy and I was able to grip the pearl with the crayon because I didn't have like like a professional jewel crayon or whatever but I do have Crayola crayons you can't stop me do what you gotta do work with what you got what do you have today do that 
So that's basically what I'm trying to do with this set of nails. Um, honestly, literally nothing on the set of nails costs more than $2. And that's what it looks like with it all, you know, done. Um, and so I did an ombre on one of the nails. Um, and I just, t you know, this honestly would probably be better with a makeup sponge. I've done it before with a makeup sponge and I honestly liked it, but I had these little paintbrush things that I got from the Dollar Tree that I was like, you know what, I'm gonna do this. Let me see what this does. Um, and so I put the pink on top and the brown on the bottom and I just like, I'm dotting it on there in like a circular, you know, r motion. Um, and it's just like a gradient. I did it a couple more times, but I kind of like it the way that it was. This is the nails, done. I like them a lot. And this is them on my nails. I hope you liked this tutorial. I liked doing it. I was happy.